So it's a fall home sale, is it? Well, here's five tips, tricks, and ideas on how to make that a success. Coming up next. So I say when you're going to sell your house in the holiday season, instead of packing away the decorations first, get it all out and decorate like crazy because there's nothing like fall decorations to sell your house. Put the garlands out, the wreath on the front door. If you have a front fence, string it with garland and really make a big deal of your holiday decorations. Think of them as dollar bills. When you use your holiday decorations to your benefit, well, you might have a smashing home sale success. So decorate like crazy for that fall home sale. So let's talk about your backyard during the winter or the fall. Sometimes we stop going out there. I don't know about in fall of 2020. I mean, we're not supposed to get rainy weather until even January. That's what the weather specialists are saying. So make sure you make your backyard look amazing. Put some holiday decorations on your outdoor furniture. Get that fire pit all cleaned up. Maybe buy some holiday blankets. Put them out over the furniture during the day. You probably don't want to leave them out at night. Um, but make it just look a little bit holiday like the rest of your house. Hire a gardener to come in once or twice if you're too busy to take care of it yourself and get it cleaned up, get it looking great, maybe put some poinsettia out there. Make your backyard look amazing, especially this winter. I think it's going to be pretty warm, so don't forget to decorate your backyard. Another thing I think about right about this time is what do your gutters look like? Are there leaves and pine needles and everything hanging out and over? Buyers look at that stuff, especially their inspectors. So you want to kind of winterize your house to get it ready for the market because that inspector that the buyer's hiring, he's going to walk the roof. He's going to see that your gutters are a major mess, a major fire hazard too here in Sonoma County. So make sure your gutters are clean and that your roof is looking really great. Sweep off anything up there, get the soccer ball off the roof, and uh, just make sure your roof and your garden match, meaning they're in great shape. When buyers think your house is cared for, they're willing to pay a little bit more money. So make your house look cared for, take care of the roof, make sure there's no leaves sticking out of your gut. Here's item number four. A lot of times we don't think about what the inside reflects on the outside. For example, curtains, all right? Now, if you didn't pay attention to curtains and your window hangings all the whole 30 years you lived there, let me talk about what that looks like to the buyer as they're pulling up in your driveway to see your house. One of the best things you can do to show off your house, if you can make it kind of match and not look too weird with what you already have, is simply putting up white wooden blinds. Now, I don't know what kind of decor you have, but maybe you just kind of threw up, I don't know, Ikea or Target drapes, okay? And they might look great, but maybe it's super bright in your living room and it just needs a little bit of shading from the top down. Lighting can make a big difference on that warm and fuzzy feeling I'm talking about when people come through the door. And it also makes your house look neat and clean from the outside when you just have vertical, or I'm sorry, horizontal blinds, all right? So stand outside your house and look at your house and ask yourself, does it look clean? Does it look like we cared for it? Does that curtain look crooked? Do they look great from the outside? Just triple check on that one. Make sure your windows look great for the buyers that are driving up right now to look at your house. I say, if you're selling your house during the fall, make sure the lights go up early. I know all your neighbors are probably gonna go, well, why is he putting the lights up in October? Well, you know what? Those buyers might have been driving by your house and they're like, gosh, when that guy sells that house, I want that house. And boom, four weeks later, your for sale sign goes up 
and you've got lights on and that guy is gonna come make an offer on your house. I guarantee it. <laughs> so the earlier you can put up some decorations on the outside of your house, I talked about the front door in one of my last videos, uh, the better because holiday is holiday. It makes that buyer want to buy your house, especially the guy that's been driving by and loving your house for maybe a year or so, and you put up those great lights a little bit early, plus the for sale sign, I think it's a good combination. So get out your holiday outside decorations early on. Hey, it's Anita with Discover Sonoma County Living and Keller Williams Real Estate here in Sonoma County. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're selling your house and you want a great seller's guide and uh, some great seller's tips that I have in free stuff, free eBooks that pop up on your screen, check out the links below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll get all my future videos and check out the next video coming up right there.